Okay, James, we've, um, we've talked quite a bit now about mm. um, what is hypnotherapy, what isn't hypnotherapy. Um, I'd like to kind of get to the real, you know, centre of it and just understand why is it that we, you know, as human beings, we, make, we seem to make things so complicated. Mm. You know, we get stuck in these really unhelpful and sometimes really dangerous and painful uh, problem behaviours. Yeah. You know, over smoking too much, um, drinking, stress. Stress is a, is, is a real killer. Even the World Health Organization says that it's going to overtake things like smoking and obesity as the number one killer in the future. Right. right. Um, so, so we've all been there. So why do we do that and, and how can hypnotherapy help? Well, yeah, I mean, great question. Um, yes, that's right. We, as humans, know that we are incredibly clever, you know, in loads of different ways. You know, the, um, uh, you know we are the uh, dominant species of the planet. We've figured ways of doing incredible feats, you know, human engineering and science and computers and so on. So, yeah, why do we get stuck in these sort of problem behaviours like just... Why can't we just stop ourselves smoking or stop overeating and mm. and and, and uh, deal deal with stress or not get so stressed? Yeah, I mean, this is one of the um, sort of dilemmas of being a human. That um, though we are super intelligent, um, what the brain seems to want to do is sort of always reserve capacity for processing new things. New things. We're kind of like learning machines. So a lot of things that we've experienced, we tend to um, kind of create a, a quick circuit for and just hold it in place. So we, we um, uh, sometimes get a problem and we just keep doing that problem. We don't move out of the problem. It's sort of, sort of like a, it's short circuited or it just keeps firing in, in that wrong way. It's like, a, it, mm. it's a pattern. Um, and it is a pattern in the brain cells that just keeps going the same way. Um, so yeah, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep feeling less confident than I could in this situation or why do I keep underperforming or why do I keep getting so far and then falling back um, it's because the brain gets stuck in a sort of maze in lots of different ways and it's the hypnotherapist's job to guide you in that part of the brain wherever the problem pattern is stored or parts of the brain the interactions of the the, the, the brain cells it's to help the person to move out of the maze um, now, right. the problem is sometimes with just conscious thinking alone and with a mate who's got all the best intentions in the world telling you what to do, it, it's, it's not the same as taking the person by the hand and guiding them out of that maze and finding a new territory instead. And that needs to be done. Um, it's too easy just to say, do this instead, or have these sort of sayings in life, when this happens, do this, and you that's the solution. It. You were, well, yeah, sure, you'll get over it. It's too simple. It's, um, you know, the, the person is in a, uh, has a problem that reoccurs um, because they have um, a, a, a pattern in the brain. Um, between the brain cells, it just keeps firing and firing. Nothing is changing it until it really gets changed. So what we need to do is to get to the sort of brainwave state where that pattern can be... Um, uh, well, it can be active first and then can be changed. So the hypnotherapist, their job is in a way fairly complex. They have to understand the pattern that's happening in the brain. They have to know the sort of order and sequence of things and that's why they interview you first. They'll have a good understanding of the psychology behind it. Then their job is to um, understand in a way your way of expressing yourself so that they know the terminology that they can use to know, uh, you know, what's going to work in terms of the change pro process. But again, to come back to the metaphor of the maze, they are there to take you by the hand. In other words, meet you where you are, understand the problem, understand what's going on, guide you out of the maze, take you through the exit door of that maze and introduce you to what could be there instead. Because we don't tend to pattern into the mind a rehearsal of something better than that problem, at least not thoroughly enough that the brain then says, okay, I'll, I'll now move to that. It's, um, it's very important that the brain knows that it has a safe pattern to move to instead. And we just don't usually take the time to do that. Uh, now with a hypnotherapist, they will sort of lay down a blueprint that you've 
sort of mentioned that you want instead in the future, which will be rehearsed in a hypnotic state, which is an accelerated state, so that there's a blueprint that your mind can follow instead of the old pattern safely, and it knows it's ecological, in other words, for your life, for the environment around you, for you and the people around you, it's safe to move to a new pattern. Um, so I think that's somewhat... So for example, can you give me an example, like an old pattern might be, oh, you know, I, I just, I'm a smoker. Mm -hmm. So what might this new safe space be to explore that you're talking about? Yes, well, case. now let's say the maze of a smoker, let's say the person has a sort of, usually a, an internal conflict because um, a part of them obviously wants to stop smoking and move to greater health. It has its motivation, you know, it could be a big part of them, you know, most of, most of them as such. Mm. Uh, and yet, hang on, why don't they move out of that? Well, because in a way there's another part of them that's uh, still holding them back and um, keeping them in the maze. Um, those can be things like beliefs, that they believe that they are better somehow in their life as a smoker. There can be all sorts of beliefs like people who smoke are more interesting and more socially accepted. Who knows where these beliefs came from in the person, from the past and so on, mm. but they can be there, kind of unconsciously held. Um, there can be a, a level of identity raveled up with the habit, like I, I can't imagine myself not smoking. In other words, part of the brain is not willing to relinquish the habit because it, it sees the person as that. Yeah, act. So, you know, it's, it's, it's an identity. I am a smoker. I've smoked all my life, or as far as I can remember. They probably forget that there was 15 or maybe 20 years as a child and mm. growing up that they didn't smoke. And so it's, it's, it's not true that it's an identity, but it can feel that way to the mind uh, once something done so frequently and so often. So that keeps the person in the maze, and the hypnotherapist subtly, elegantly, and respectfully takes the person by the hand with great understanding of their psychology and helps them to see the new exit route from that maze and the blueprint out in front of them for their future where they can rehearse and consolidate uh, and feel good about a new identity, new behaviours, new beliefs and things that start to feel familiar. Uh, so, I mean, sorry, just, just one thing that really comes to my mind actually just to uh, really answer this question is the human condition in a way is familiarity, like we're obsessed and, and, and um, you know, caught up with staying with what's familiar rather than moving to new territory. So again, this maze that's holding our problem in place mm. is familiar to us. So humans are conditioned to stay with what's familiar for safety. It's not, you know, you, it's not comfortable there. It's not where I want to be, but it's familiar, so I know what's going to happen. Whereas mm. this new territory, you know, you think of uh, ancient times, if you're to move to new territories, it's all the unfamiliar and you should feel scared. That's the brain's wiring. I don't know what's going to happen there. This isn't great here and, uh, you know, it's really don't like living here, but I don't know what that looks like. I don't know yeah. what, I don't know if it's safe. So this is, this is the condition that keeps us in, you know, uh, repeated behaviours that keep us back. Does that make sense? Uh,